In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Layer Instances in 2017.4. This new feature lets you share the content of one or several layers across multiple texture sets. This means that different texture sets can now share a single, unified layer stack. Although Layer Instances are a great way to apply materials, smart materials, and effects across multiple tiles, painting on instance layers will still be bound to the current texture set. This is a limitation we are working on lifting in the near future. With layer instancing, we have a source and an instance. So in this example, in my shelf, I'm going to take a smart material and just drag and drop that here into the layer stack for my body texture set. This layer group is going to become my source. And here I'd also like to mention that I am creating a source from this group, which means that I will be instancing all of the content within this layer group. However, you can simply just instance a single layer if you like. So here we're going to right click the group and I'm going to choose to instantiate across texture sets. I can also copy a source and paste it as a layer instance as well. But here in this case, we're just going to instantiate across texture sets. So when I choose this option, a dialog appears and allows me to choose which texture set I'd like to instantiate this source layer. Here you can see that the body texture set is set as the source and the head and legs is enabled. I could disable the legs if I only wanted to instantiate this source here to the head. But in my case, I just want to instantiate this across all of my texture sets. So now that I have this set up, I'll just simply click OK. And now you can see that my source machinery layer group has been instantiated from the body to the head and legs. Now any work that I do to the layers within this group, since the layer group is set of the source, the changes will propagate to all of the instances. So for example, here on my group, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to choose to add a mask with color selection. Here I'll use my ID mask and I'll pick color and I'll choose to place this smart material here in the red ID area. Again, you can see that this change propagates to all of the layer instances. Also, we'll come here to this metal base and we're just going to change our color. So let's just simply choose a different color. Again, you can see that all of the instances are updated from the changes I've made here in my source. Here in my source layer, you can see that I have this icon which will display the instance source properties. So if I click on this here in the properties, you can see that we can now view the layer instance hierarchy. And I can navigate to the instance layer on the texture set just by simply clicking on the texture set. So for example, here we'll click on head and you can see that this automatically selects the head texture set and here we see the machinery instance layer. Now, if I go back to the body machinery, this is where I have my source, and I delete this source layer, you can see that all of the instance copies will be removed as well. Similar to the anchor system, the layer instances can also suffer from cyclic errors. So for example, here you can see that I have this layer group. And what I'm going to do here is just simply right click. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to right click again and then paste this layer as an instance. So here I have an instance. Now if I drag and drop the instance into the source group, you can see here that we now have produced one of these cyclic errors. Here you can see that the UI is indicating here that we have a looping error with this red indicator. So to fix this, all I need to do is just simply drag and drop this instance layer outside of the group. With layer instances, the instance can actually be placed below the source. The main difference between an anchor point and a layer instance is that an anchor point only works inside a texture set and will retrieve the result of the anchors to drive something else. A layer instance only replicates parameters and creates a custom result based on the context, like different additional maps and other texture sets. Here I have an example of instantiating a pattern across all of my texture sets. Here in the pattern you can see that I've just simply placed a grunge map here in my base color. And by default, my projection mode is set to UV projection. Now, if I switch this here to triplanar, you can see that now this procedural pattern is now lining up across all of the texture sets, which produces the effect of a unified pattern across these sets. So here I have another example where I've applied a dirt layer in the body texture set, and I instantiated that across all of my other texture sets. Now here I'm using a position gradient to drive the buildup of the dirt from the top to the bottom. 
and I can interactively adjust this control and have it update on all of my texture sets, creating an overall uniform dirt layer. So that's going to wrap up this video. And as I mentioned earlier, the new layer instance feature lets you share the content of one or several layers across multiple texture sets. We hope you enjoyed this feature. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.